So did you know in every video game you have ever played there was a hidden camera behind a mirror? You might have noticed that mirrors in games are often broken, cracked or dirty. Yeah, at first it looks like a stylistic choice, but in reality it's a performance trick. See, games cannot afford to calculate true light and reflection in real time. The animations and CGI you see in movies sometimes take days to render a single frame, but in video games we need to render a frame in the fraction of a second. I mean, of course, ray tracing is a big step towards that cinematic realism, but until we make it, we have to fake it, and that literally means placing a virtual camera behind mirrors plane just render the scene from that perspective and then slap that render back on its surface. This is called a planar reflection. What I recreated here is a simpler version of this, but it's built on the same core principles. But as you can see, for even a single planar reflection, the whole scene is rendered twice. And no matter the optimizations, rendering your game twice is also heavy on GPU. And that's the very reason why many games skip mirrors completely or simply leave them non-functional.